Oh, ah. He's unforgivable. Good morning, Andrew. Yeah, good morning, Tom. What a lovely chilly day it is today. I'm absolutely freezing this morning. As but... indicated by your hat. Hello there, very good morning to you. Welcome back to Ford. We're all over it. Back off to Fratton Park today. We start with the gutting news that Alex Robertson, we probably won't see for the rest of the season now, following a hamstring tear in training. We're wishing Alex all the absolute best. He will go on to have an unbelievable career, all sure of that. But that news does make this transfer window 10 times more important than it already was. And it already was quite critical, Andrew. But we had the good news of the uh, return of Super Matt Macy in goal this week. Super Matt Macy in goal. Great news. Love Super Matt Macy. If that is to be the trend for transfers this January, you must be quite excited by the prospects of incomings. Yeah, we need to. We obviously need to stockpile a little bit, Tom. We're a little bit light on the ground, aren't we? Our form has closed the gap below us, and as such, that lead has narrowed to just two points heading into today. But 20 big games to go and a lot of football to be played between now and the end of the season. Seriously, a lot of football to be played, Tom. Just to steady the ship, I'd stress the importance of winning pretty much every game between now and the end of January just to give ourselves that little bit of a bit of a run the end of Jan it will define the end of our season last time you said that you said September will define our season and we didn't lose a single game that's what I'm trying to do you attracting I'm attracting the 12 point winning streak three clean sheets on the bounce for Leighton Orient three wins out their last five they've had an excellent first half of the season their first time back in League One in eight years what was the score in the last league game against Leighton Orient Andrew 4-0 written all over it Tom During the week, me and Reese had a little bit of a chat. Some of the preparation for this Fall Never All Over It video. There's which lots of preparation that goes into these videos. Some by the people way, don't think so there is, know. but there is a little bit of preparation that goes in. I wouldn't say a lot, I'd say a little bit. We've lost two out of the last four games. Before that, we went through a period of only losing one in the previous 33. And when you put it into that perspective, for fans obviously calling for players to be out of the team and momentum yep. being killed at the moment, it, you've got to put it into realisation that actually it's been a fantastic season. Keep calm a little bit and hope that it is just a blip at the moment but nonetheless it is quite a bad patch it really is and I understand fans frustration at the same time because performance levels haven't been there the teams that we should be beating we've dropped points with let's hope it is a blip let's get back to winning ways here and finish the second half of the season strongly 2-0 win 2-0 Bishop scores both 2-1 I'm going to go for 4-0 written all over it oh mate just got to be in it give us who's going to score today Edie uh, Joe Morrell and hopefully I would call Bishop for part of the day. I can't make my own decision well why don't we change change it for a 3-1 and then oh, we can yeah, have both of them. Yeah. What about that? Yeah. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Give us one of those. What does that say? Peter Storm? Yes. Yeah, your name's Sam, Peter. not Peter. I know, yes. What's going on there? I don't know. That should say Sam Storm. Yeah, it should say that. It yes. should say that. Richard Hammond's back, everybody. It's not funny. <laughs> I think today's a big one to see the metal of the team. You'll see the, the character of the team, see whether they've got the resolve to get each other through it and pull through. 2-0, 3-1, Colby Bishop, Sadie and Kamara. 4-0, Sadie's starting. Yes. Now I can hear my bad one today. 3-2. 4-0 written all over it. 4-0 written all over it. 3-1. We need to prove not only to the club but to the fans that it was just a blip. 3-1, Pompey written all over it. 3-0, obviously. Is this your drum? This is my drum. Is this going to be all the noise? Right. Very nice. Good morning, Andrew. <laughs> Good morning, Andrew. I've got a drum. Can I just say, you look absolutely fabulous. <laughs> you look well, tremendous. I'm warm anyway. Your hair matches your jacket and everything. It looks brilliant. 4-0. 3-1, Pompey. 4-0 written all over it. What's your name, madam? I don't know what to say. You know what your name is? Yeah, Julie. Julie. Yeah, Julie. That's, nice that's the first one, isn't it? Nice, nice to meet you too, Julie. 3-1. No, I reckon about 2-1, to be fair. I'm Triple saying 4-0. What are you saying? 4-0 written all over it. On the blues! <laughs>
It's unforgivable. For the first seven, eight, ten minutes, they were looking all right. We were threatening. And then after that, I don't know what's happened, but they've just stopped playing football. They've stopped doing what they're good at. And, and Leighton Orient have just come on us, and they're freeing you up at half time. And for people that, that sit here and say, oh, no, they're short of confidence, we're top of the league. How can you be short of confidence when you are top of a division? If you can't have confidence when you're top of the league, when are you going to be confident? I don't know what to say. Honestly, for the first time, I'm speechless. I don't know where to go from here. When plan A doesn't work, you have to be able to change things up slightly. If you want to get out of this division this season, this has to be better now. These next couple of minutes will be carefully constructed. I want to be careful with what I say. We don't want to upset anyone at home. We don't want to upset anyone in, in general. But that's indefensible, I'm afraid. There is no defending that. We try and offer decorum. We offer the balance. We try and say it how it is here, and there's no defending it. First things first, credit to Leighton Orient. I think they won the game when the first one went in. Jordan Brown, Ford, Dan Agi, outstanding this afternoon. I like Richie Wellens as a manager. He got it absolutely spot on, even as you would have seen, Dan. From 10 seconds in, they were on it. They were at it. They had a game plan. It was executed subliminally, if that's a word. I don't really care at this point. <laughs> Solomon Brim between the sticks for Leighton Orient. Not only did everything fall into his hands when called upon today, he saved a Colby Bishop penalty. He did brilliantly, didn't he? They were better than us in every single department. We were devoid of ideas. We didn't have a clue going forward. I'm concerned. Tom. Just a couple of observations Tom because like a lot of people coming away from this ground today I think I'm going to need to maybe sleep on it and digest it before I can talk sensibly about it. We've said a few times over this round of five or six games haven't we that surely as professionals they've got to be hurting at that you know. For all our huffing and puffing there was nothing clear created you made a comment about once we're two three nil down no real change to the the game plan nope. in terms of response I might be reading too much into it but the body language is we lined up around the centre circle after the second goal, there was no fire in the belly. Your leaders, Morel, Pack, Shaughnessy, whatever, there was no, we weren't rallying the troops. The heads were down and we, we, we just looked hollow. We, we looked numb. I'm not here to stir the pot, but it was just an observation from the stands. That's, that, that, that's yeah. all. The reason why I say we have to be careful is because our rating on here does the team and the club and the fans no favours. Neither does the booing. Although it's justified, I don't think it's particularly helpful. And I, I want to strike a balance between calling that out for what it was, which was unacceptable but also taking it with an edge of caution to say, well, if I say that, how helpful is that comment going to be in what is a really perilous time for this football club? We have two and a half weeks to get it right, get our act in order in terms of transfers. And also and you've got a couple of weeks on the road before we come back here at the start of February. We're now out of the 20s. We're into the teens now in terms of games to go. 19 games left on our list. And if something isn't sorted quickly in terms of both the way we play after conceding, where is that team that had all the character to come back from going goals down? Where is that team that beat Leighton Orient at their place on this opening away weekend of the season for us? And took their chances nil. clinically that day, by the way. That's the same group of players, give or take, right? And that brings me to my next point. The Regan Paul loss we knew was big. The Alex Robertson loss, I'm afraid, might have been one step too far in terms of being able to salvage. That's my worry. I still like to think we've got enough talent on that part with the players he's got available. Alex Robertson was the type of player who could be put under pressure and keep the ball. That's probably why he's under contract with Manchester City, Tom. Let me give you one positive from this afternoon, the one and only positive. Lowry coming back. Tom Lowry's back in the team and I thought he was a shining light in an otherwise very dull black sky today that That's lacked any colour. If you don't play football the way we play today, mate, you ain't going nowhere in this league. I'm afraid all it is is negative superlatives from me really unacceptable unforgivable predictable sadly there was no reaction at half time there was a lot of insanity about us we felt like doing the same thing again and again was somehow going to change it my question is when it's not working why not go direct and try and heave your way back into the game somehow that first place spot that we currently have hanging by a little bit of a thread well a massive thread that's going to be snatched from us in a couple of weeks time and we're not going to get that back not playing like that today there is no coincidence that every team has played us once and now 
now we start going through the cycle again of when teams play us again whether it's at Fratton Park or away from home that is where it all comes crashing down happened last season happened the season before that and it's happening this season that's no coincidence that's a systemic deep rooted issue at this football club I'm afraid is it's predictable Pompey we've got two and a half weeks to put ourselves right an Orient side unbeaten since before Christmas has completely undone us here at Fratton in quite some fashion that is it from us until next weekend thank you very much for watching keep the faith and as always play out Pompey, play out Pompey.